Hello everyone, this is Lokesh. Today we are going to start with Kaplan turbine. We are going to learn construction, its working and a velocity diagram. So let's begin. Kaplan turbine is an axial flow reaction water turbine. Water flows axially downward and this type of turbine requires low heat and high water flow rate. The main component of the Kaplan turbine is hub on which runner vanes are mounted as shown in diagram. The water is coming from the scroll pressing through guide vanes and passing over the runner vanes and runner vanes starts rotating. The shaft is connected to the hub and further it is connected to the generator or the electricity generation. Kaplan turbines have several advantages over the Francis turbine. For the same power development, Kaplan turbine is more compact in construction and having the smaller size. The part load efficiency for the Kaplan turbine is considerably high and because of less number of blades, the frictional losses are very low for the Kaplan turbine. Working proportions. These proportions are used to design the Kaplan turbine as well as to solve the numericals in UG and PG levels. So first one is the diameter of runner which is the overall diameter of runner blades which are mounted on the hub. DB is a diameter of hub or boss. The hub is also called as boss. For the Kaplan turbine, blade velocity remains constant that is u equals to u1 equals to u2. Also, the flow velocity is also remains constant that is vf1 equals to vf2 equals to vf. The discharge through a turbine can be calculated as q equals to area of flow and a flow velocity where the area of flow can be calculated by the formula pi by 4 do square minus db square and multiply by the velocity of the flow we get the discharge. To draw the velocity triangle for the Kaplan turbine, let's say this is the blade of the Kaplan turbine. Water is coming towards the Kaplan turbine blade with the velocity of v1 called as absolute velocity at inlet. There are two components for the absolute velocity. The horizontal component is known as world velocity denoted as VW1 and the vertical component is known as flow velocity denoted as VF1. The relative velocity can be drawn and it is denoted as VR1 and this is the blade velocity at the inlet which is horizontal one. The angle made by V1 with U1 that's the absolute velocity with the blade velocity is denoted as alpha while the angle made by relative velocity with the blade velocity at the inlet is denoted as theta. The alpha angle is known as guide blade angle while theta is known as blade angle at inlet. Similarly, for the outlet, this one is the relative velocity at outlet denoted as VR2. This is U2, that's the blade velocity at the outlet. This one is absolute velocity at the outlet. There are two components of the absolute velocity at the outlet. VW2, that's the world velocity at the outlet. And Vf2 that is the flow velocity at the outlet. The angle made by relative velocity with the blade velocity is phi also known as blade angle at outlet while the angle made by absolute velocity with blade velocity is denoted as beta. This triangle can be modified as per the requirement of designs or the data available in the numerical. This is a generalized velocity triangle for any type of 
reaction turbine. We'll solve some numericals for the Kaplan turbine in upcoming videos. So stay tuned and please subscribe. Have a good day.